Hello everyone, Steve here with an update on my latest clock design. This clock has what's called a Coupe Purdue escapement, which uh, you can see here. This is a modified version that doesn't use pins um, and the, the pallets have been separated such that half of the pallet is on the left side and the active pallet that actually pushes the pendulum is on the right. Uh, haven't ever seen this design anywhere else, so maybe it's original to this clock. Uh, it works fairly well. The whole point of the Coupe Purdue is you can see the second hand moves once a second, even though the pendulum has a half second beat. This clock is printed using Matter Hacker's Quantum PLA and this is my new favorite filament. As you can see on this gear, as it's rotating, one side is blue and the other side is purple. It gives a really nice look for the clock gears. It's a little bit pricey, but I believe it's well worth it. This clock has a motorized rewind using some really tiny N20 motors. I tested a lot of motors and this one was by far the quietest and also the lowest power. And it makes it, the small size makes it really easy to fit inside this clock. The motor is hidden inside a box over here with a couple of small weights and every three or four minutes the, the motor will rewind the clock. Here's the clock while it's rewinding. Here's a close-up of the escapement in action. And the fast movement of the escapement really shows off the, the dual colors of the quantum PLA. To keep the clock from rewinding continuously, there's a, a lever arm that as this weight that drives the, the clock uh, falls far enough, this lever arm is going to trip and then the magnet touches the reed switch and then the motor will, will rewind the clock and then when it winds it far enough, that lever arm will trip back out of the way and then shut off the motor. I think it's a very elegant way to, to wind this clock. It's just about to trigger right now. There's the trigger and then the motor rewinds and it winds up far enough and the lever arm falls out of the way and then it stops winding. This clock right now is running off of two AA batteries. It's been running for about a month now and these batteries were already almost dead when I put them in. In fact, I pulled them out of a TV remote control because they were too weak to work the remote control. Uh, there's still enough power in these to, to power the tiny N20 motor in the rewind mechanism. I still have to do uh, some modifications to the, the frame to bury the battery inside the base of the clock. Uh, it looks like I need to do one more spin of all the parts and then this clock should be ready to release. Hopefully I'll place it on my mini factory within the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, subscribe, and you'll get more information on when this clock is released. I think this is going to be a really nice looking clock when it's all done.